Welcome. This is our Saturday strength session, and we have a 30-minute full body circuit workout that, oh yeah, we're going to be fighting for it. Let me just tell you, we're going to be working hard. All you're going to need are your dumbbells and a cushy surface because we will be on the ground for a few of the exercises. We also have maybe a couple of new exercises in here today as well, just to mix things up, work ourselves in a new way. But we are going to, we also have baby Alan joining us today. Stella has been kicked out of her chair, <laughs> but we're going to get right into a warm up. And as we begin the warm up, I will explain how this workout is going to go. So let's go ahead and start. We're just going to start with an open and a close here, crossing one arm on top and then the other. Oh yes. And if we, that reminded me, if you'd like to start your watch now, you can a couple more and then we're going to do big arm circles back. Last one. Now let's do big arm circles back. There it goes. And this workout today. So we have three different circuits. We're going to start um, with a lighter set of dumbbells for the first circuit, heavier when we get to the second, just for one of the last exercises. Let's take it forward. And then we're going to go super heavy on the last and final circuit. So we will repeat each circuit two times, but we'll start from, so we'll finish the three circuits and then we'll start back at the beginning. Last one here and let's go ahead. We're going to bring it down and we're just going to hinge it from side to side here, stretching out the hips, the hamstrings a little bit, getting everything warmed up. And there are also five exercises in each circuit and we will work for 30 seconds, moving right on to the next exercise. Then we will get a minute to recover. So let's go ahead and we're going to do knee pull. So just bringing it up here, holding it for a second and then switching sides. Keeping your chest up, core engaged. Go ahead a couple more and then we will move on to a sumo squat. So legs out wide and we're just going to do a slow lower and then come back up. So think, don't think of, of, the, of this as a strength move right now. Take it slow and think about getting those muscles warm, getting the blood flowing and sinking into it just maybe a little bit deeper than you would to get that stretch. Good. Chest stays up. Last one here. Good. Now we're just going to do a lateral lunge side to side here, sinking in. Again, not thinking of it as a strength builder at this moment in time, just warming things up. Also, thanks for being here today. It is so lovely to have you. Jason is behind the computer. If this is your first strength session, Jason is behind the computer running the things, all the electrical things. What happened to your plant? Oh yeah, we forgot about this. Yeah. So, okay, nothing necessarily happened to the plant. Let's just do, um, we, I, I will get to it, but let's just do jump rope. So getting the heart rate up so we can get right in to our first circuit. So the plant, you know, when we were gone on vacation, totally forgot that that thing needed to be watered. So that poor little guy just sat in here wilting away <laughs> and he's okay. But also this little troublemaker likes to play with it and tear it up as if it's a cat toy. So that one, that plant was, that plant was on its way out. So now we have this big, beautiful, gorgeous thing back here. So that, that is what we have. All right. First exercise we are going to go into is hold on. This light is in my way. Okay. Yeah. Alternate. Oh, I'm going to start my watch. Alternating reverse lunge with a hammer curl. So it's gonna look just like this, down and up, down and up. For the first round also, so this will be the first round and then we're gonna do this again for the fourth round. Um, I have selected exercises that you can hopefully use right around the same amount of weight because we wanna move right in to that first exercise. So beginning here, 30 seconds, let's begin. Good, keeping your chest up and squeeze. Make sure you're getting that full range of motion all the way down, all the way up with the arms and the legs. Next exercise we are gonna go into is just going to be an overhead tricep extension. So maybe you need to set one weight down. Last one here. 
Overhead tricep extension, bring it up and let's begin. 30 seconds. Again, no rest in between, moving from one to the next, but we will get that minute to recover at the end of this circuit. Good, and lift. Make sure you keep your, keep your elbows close in to the side of your head. Good. And if you do have a chance, if you've already answered the question in the poll, thank you. And if you do have a chance and you wanna answer that, we are just curious, what is your favorite equipment to use for your workout? Good, last one. Going right into an L lift. So that's gonna be a front raise here and a lateral raise. So join me now, 30 seconds. And I'm gonna explain the next exercise. We are going to do a dead hang hammer curl into a straight arm rear extension. So I'll show you what that looks like quickly before we get into it. But we're gonna work the biceps and the back of the arms a little bit into the back with this one. All right, so dead hang. We're hanging down. We're gonna do a hammer curl, bring it back down then a press back. So join me now, hammer curl, so palms face each other, and press. You have no momentum in this move because we are doing this dead hang here, and then press. I'm just gonna turn to the side just a little bit, just so you can see that core is still engaged. Similar position to a row or a tricep kickback. And press. Good. Next exercise, we're gonna bring it down into a kneeling squat to an overhead press. Perfect, so this is one of the new exercises. Kneeling squat. You may wanna grab your towel and put it under your knees. Um, you can also just do a press on your knees too or a squat, but we're gonna bring the weights up. We're gonna squat down and press. So here we go, down and squeeze. Why are we doing this kneeling? You're probably wondering. Kneeling can work your balance, but it also works your glute muscles as well. So just a new avenue to take with the squat to work things a little bit differently. And you know, when we can challenge those muscles, it's always a good thing. We get a minute to recover after this. Perfect, let's do one more down and press. All right, one minute, circuit one is done. You can set your dumbbells off to the side. Now for this next round, we are gonna start with a walk out push up. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like first. And you won't need dumbbells until the very last exercise, we're gonna do a chest press. So we're gonna start, we're gonna bring it down. We are gonna walk it out and press it up and then walk it back and up. So grab your dumbbells so they're right near you for when we get into that chest press, but we're gonna be ready to go with the first exercise. Let's see. Let's go here. Okay, I'll just set these right here. Oh, still got 15 seconds. Breathing, let's get into position. Going in three, two, a walkout push up. Here we go. You need to take it down to your knees. When you get down there, you can definitely do that. If not, this would be an awesome one to challenge yourself to see how many you can do on your toes. Because we have this walkout, we won't be able to do too many reps. And down. How's the time looking? 10 seconds. Perfect. And up. Last one. Take it down, best one yet. And up. Perfect. Next exercise, we're gonna go into a rotating, so we're gonna be a rotating side plank, just rotating it right to the other side and up. So join me now and up and up. Good. Keep that core engaged, keep your hips up. And also make sure you're focusing on your form here. When you place that arm down, shoulder over elbows here. And 
up. Good. Next exercise, we're gonna roll it onto our back and we are gonna do a straight arm, straight leg twist. I will show you what that looks like. This will be our last one. Perfect, all right. Bringing it down onto your back. Legs stay straight. Modification will be bent knees. Straight arm, we're gonna twist. Twist as far as you can, belly button engaged. And twist, 30 seconds. This may look odd, but I am telling you what. Oh, Lord. Working, oh, so good. And twist. Keep those arms straight. Think about keeping your shoulder blades up off of that. Almost there. And you wanna think about keeping your bum down. You don't wanna roll around here. And last one, good. Bent knees now on our back. We're gonna do bent knee alternating heel taps. So 90 degrees and tap and tap. Keep your mind here to keep your lower back pressed into the floor. I was losing my focus and my lower back was coming up. You want to make sure that lower back stays on the floor. If you can take it here and your back starts to come up, bring it back up. Don't worry about that full tap. Last one, perfect. All right, now we go into our chest press. So now you will need your dumbbells working for 30 seconds. So getting into position, here we go. This is the last exercise in circuit two, and we will move on to circuit three. Good, and breathe out. Circuit three, we're gonna go a little bit heavier. So you may wanna adjust your weights during this minute break, but that first exercise will be, will be down on the ground, and we're gonna do a glute bridge. And press, one more, down and press, perfect. All right, set your weights down, grab a drink, dry off if you need to. You are doing amazing, oh my word. We have made it to circuit three, and we've got one minute. So let me just tell you while we're resting, I'll tell you that you have all left such awesome comments about the Fit For You series, and how you've enjoyed the shorter duration for the workouts. So I, I've loved them myself. Couldn't hold back and I was like, you know what? I think we need just four more of those. <laughs> so this for the next two weeks, we're gonna bring out a couple more of the Fit For You series workouts. One of those being a stretch for your back, glutes, and hips because I know we've talked about that quite a bit in cycling as well. So if you are gonna adjust your weight, grab that now. We're gonna go into a sumo, or not a sumo, we're gonna go into a glute bridge. So roll it back right onto your back. <sighs> Getting into position, going in three, two, and one. Here we go. Squeeze and lift, and squeeze. Again, keep the weight in your heels, and make sure your knees aren't falling out to the side or falling in. You want them right in line with your toes, and press. And squeeze, good. Next exercise, we're gonna bring it right on up and we're gonna do a sumo squat into an upright row. Last one, good. Bring it right on up. I'm gonna hold on to just one dumbbell for this exercise. If you're not sure what an upright row is, let me show you. We're gonna bring it down and up. Down and up. So here we go. Oh, yay, perfect, Julie. I'm so glad you have enjoyed that because that, that, that's my kind of workout when I'm like going all in for 15, 20 minutes. That is my business right there. <sighs> Halfway, and then we're gonna go into a single, single, double row, which would just be right arm, left arm, and then both. We've got time, one more rep, down and row. Perfect, so now you will need two weights. So grab those and we're gonna hinge it down. So single row, single row, double. Here we go. Single, single, and double. Perfect. 
Again, keep that core engaged, back flat. Next exercise, Romanian deadlift into a calf raise. Almost there. One more single, single, and double. Romanian deadlift to a calf raise. I'll show you what it looks like. Down, we're gonna come up, we're gonna lift up onto the toes and down. 30 seconds, here we go. Down, all the way up, and then lift up. Good. Squat and press is gonna finish this circuit out, and then we're gonna start over from circuit one again. So we'll go back to those lighter dumbbells. And up. I am ballerina dancing for everyone today. <laughs> Almost last one. Last one. All right, right into that squat and press. So we're gonna hold it up. We're gonna squat down and we're gonna press. Come on, last exercise. I told you we are fighting for it today. Good, if you're hanging out for the cycling workout, it is also a circuit ride. And press. The good thing, if you come to strength, you get a little preview of what the cycling workout's gonna be. And oh my, Whew. down, last one. Perfect, all right. Breathing for that minute. Now I'm gonna ask you, for round one, did you go heavy enough or do you need to go heavier? Because this is gonna be the last time through. So think about that now while we enjoy this break. I can't tell if Stella looks comfortable because it's a little pause. Okay, I'm getting back with it. I just get- It's funny how Stella refuses to fight a cat over a chair. She won't, she won't do it. She'll just lay on the floor and be uncomfortable. She likes the floor though, because it's cool, maybe. But yeah, she, uh, yeah, she's got a lot of extra padding to keep her comfortable. <laughs> You're right. That's my kind of pug. That is my kind of pug right there. Okay, first exercise <sighs> was, see I can't see, alternating reverse lunge with the curl. Palms are gonna be facing away from you. And we're just gonna alternate that reverse lunge as we curl. Going in three, in two, and one, here we go. And squeeze, good. Oh, Melissa, is it your birthday? That's awesome. Yay for showing up on your birthday. Woohoo, happy birthday, Melissa. Big shout out for that, that is awesome. Last one, I just gotta make it even. All right, overhead tricep extension. Again, you might wanna set one weight down. If not, getting right into it. 30 seconds. And up. And squeeze, good. And press. Whew. Back of the arms, feel it during this circuit for sure. Next exercise is just going to be the L lift or the front raise and lateral raise. Last one, good. So here we go. Don't swing the weights. Use those muscles as we do the front raise. Whew. I'm trying to work working the front deltoid and as we do the side raise, we're working that medial deltoid. This one gets me shaking. Lateral, what did I say? You could, oh, okay. And one more, perfect. Onto those hang hammer curls with the press backs. Hanging down here, up and press. Up and press, good. Good. Breathing. 
healing squat with press is next. If that bothered your knees, you can definitely do that standing. Good. All right, bringing it down. I just like to use my towel for a little bit of extra. So the arms are up and we squat it down and press. Again, same thing here. You can think about squeezing the glutes and pressing the hips forward just a little bit here to get the most out of that move. This is the last exercise. And then we will be finished with circuit four. Press, good. One more. Down and up, awesome. All right, drying off if you need to. We can set these weights aside. We should not need them again. I'm not using the same weight. But don't forget to get your weights ready for chest press because that will be at the end of circuit five we are now on. Let's see. So get those ready. You didn't set the timer for a minute, Jason. Okay, perfect. <laughs> We'll say we've got 30. We have about 30 seconds left. We've got about 30 seconds. I'll take it. Looks good. That, yeah, that sounds good. Whew. All right. Getting ready for that walkout push up again. Breathing. Okay. Seven seconds. Here we go in three, two, and one. When you're down in that plank before the push-up, squeeze the glutes, engage the core, and then bring it down and press that floor away from you. What's our time like? Okay, I think we've got time. One more, down. Alternating side plank. So we're gonna be on that elbow and we're just gonna rotate it here. Here we go. Keep those hips up, working the obliques here with this move. And up. Good. And up, ooh, the last few reps get so challenging. Let's make it even, we'll come back facing front. Perfect, then we're gonna go back into that straight arm, straight leg twist. Turn the other way, okay. Oh, hello. All right, when we do this move, get your core engaged now. Let the air out, squeeze, arm straight, leg straight, and twist. You wanna think about keeping those shoulder blades up off of the mat the entire time. Good. If this is too much for your neck, you can keep your hands behind your head for support. But we really want to work that rotation to target the obliques. But we've got the upper abs as well, working big time. One more. Good, going for the heel taps. Again, focus on keeping your lower back Pressed into the mat, 90 degrees here, alternating that leg lower. Squeeze the belly button in. Chest press will be next. And you are halfway through this. Good. Last one, good. Grab your dumbbells for chest press. Getting into that. And this is the last exercise already. Oh, here we go. And press. And I'll tell you the workouts that we have. I already told you we have a stretch planned for the fit for you to finish that out, but we have a complete upper body and a complete lower body, and then also a hit. It's all cardio. 
So I know Lisa mentioned, she was like, do you have a legs? And I was like, you know what? I do not, but that is a good idea. So I was like, we gotta add some more into here. Last one, you've got a minute here. Perfect. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm gonna set this down. No, I'm gonna keep these weights. <laughs> what camera angle, angle are we on? We're gonna stay on the round because we have glute bridge. I'm just dancing around here right now. I will, I will enjoy my time on the ground though. If I have a chance then, listen, I know what's coming for the cycling workout. And what, how, what are we mixing? We're mixing the, the circuits we have for cycling today, climbs, freeze and hold, circuit one. What's the next? Sprints and jumps, inverted sprints and rolling hills, and then one at the first. <laughs> Those are the circuits that we have to look forward to. <sighs> I can't wait. <sighs> 15 seconds, glute bridge is next. While you do this glute bridge to really focus on the glutes, make sure the weight is in your heels and hold that up for about two seconds and then lower it down. So really get that squeeze out. Let's bring it back. Here we go. And down. Good. We'll bring it up next for that sumo squat with an upright row. Squeeze, good. 10 seconds. Come on, focus on that squeeze. And squeeze. I'm sorry, every time I think of squeeze, I always think of Dora the Explorer and there was like that naughty little character and it was like swipe or no swiping. So every time I squeeze, I always think of Dora the Explorer. I am sorry I've gone too far. One weight, sumo squat with upright row. But now you're gonna think of Dora the Explorer and the naughty little character. Down and up. Down and up, good. This works the shoulders as well as the upper back with this upright row. Single, single, double will be next. So we'll need both dumbbells, so we'll grab those Super quick. So we'll have three exercises left. Last one and row. Perfect, grab your dumbbells, get right into it. Remember it's a single row, single, single and double. Here we go. Single, single, double. Perfect. And row, good. Halfway. Romanian deadlift to calf raise is gonna be next. So if you need to adjust your weight, you'll have a few seconds to do that and then we'll get right into that. Single, single, double, one more. Single, single, and double. Perfect. So Romanian deadlift into calf raise, just about shoulder width apart. Here we go. Lower it down. Use the back of the leg to pull and squeeze you back up and then up onto those toes. Down and up. Good. And squeeze and lift. Almost there and squeeze. Last one, last one and then we have squat and press. Perfect. Last exercise, give it all you got. We are fighting for it, here we go. Down and press. Come on, make this count. This is it. You have done amazing. And if you are here for cycling as well, we are just getting started. Halfway and press, perfect. However, if you are not sticking around for cycling, don't forget to grab dessert, AKA the stretch. Last one for good measure. Down and press. Perfect, carefully set your weights down. I gotta say, I love you for being here. I love you for press and play. And I wanna thank you for joining me. Grab your stretch if you're done. If not, grab a little bit of fluid or whatever you might need for cycling and I will see you there. Thank you for joining me. I love you. Whew.